To set up Google Group, you want to go to groups.google.com. And once you are in the site, um, you can click on Create Group and give it a good name. And so I'm going to just type in uh, 47 and then maybe 2013 uh, winter. Right. Okay, so it, and, and then after that, it had created e an a email address uh, for me. And if you don't like this email address, uh, you can try to change it. But a lot of time, it's easier to, uh, easiest to just uh, leave it like that as long as you have a very descriptive uh, group, group name. And, um, uh, you know, behind, you know, the, the domain name is googlegroups.com. Okay, unless if you have your own domain, otherwise this becomes your email address. Okay, so the full email address is this plus at goodgoalgroups.com all right and after that uh, you can give the uh, group uh, a description and for now i'm going to just put my name there all right and english is the the primary language okay a group type uh, there are three types that you can choose one is an email list this is probably the most common another one is a web forum and then a q and a forum the web forum is for people to uh, they have to log in and go to the the, the, the web uh, uh, forum and then they can post questions and ask questions and and Q and A uh, will list um, some of the uh, common uh, questions and then mark the questions that people are uh, most interested in. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as email list for now, and uh, and then it it let you define you know who can uh, view the topics, who can post, and who can join the groups. And um, I am going to leave it here as anybody, anyone can ask. What that means is that people can request to join the group, but before they can join the group, they, they need to have my permission as the owner of this group. Okay, and so I'm going to leave it as that and then click create. And I need to type in these characters. I hope I get that right. All right. Okay. So now I have created a group, and I can invite people, you know, to join, and um, I can customize your my group setting and or you know add a topic for people to to start the discussion. Okay. Now, if you have a let's say a class of students or a group that you already have the email addresses and the easiest way is to just go ahead and copy and paste all the email addresses and put them right here and um, i have several email addresses and i'm going to just put it in as a demonstration uh, for now uh, okay and then uh, what others do i have uh, byu one uh, okay, and so um, let's say after I have put in all the email addresses here, uh, then then uh, uh, you know you can uh, write an invitation uh, the message here uh, to to let your friends or the student your students know that uh, you're inviting them to join this group, and then you can click on the invites. Okay, I guess I need to type something. Uh, since I'm just sending the email to myself, I don't need to really describe what it is. And I need to put in the, these characters again so that uh, the computer know I am a, a real person, not uh, just a computer program that's trying to hack into their system. All right, so now the invitation has been sent to these two people. And after they, uh, these individuals receive the emails and, and click on the link, then they will be in um, a part, of, part of this group. Okay, so now I've created a group, and if I send an email to the email address uh, of the group, then everyone in this email address will be able to receive it, uh, in this email list will be able to receive that email. Okay, and um, do you remember what that email address is? If you don't remember, you can click right here. Go to Manage, okay? After you click on Manage, if you can uh, click on uh, uh, Information on the left-hand side right here, and uh, general information okay yeah see general information right here shows uh, my email uh, address okay so this is my email address i you know this this part 
and uh, at googlegroups.com. So when I can, if I send email to this address, everyone in this group will be able to receive it. And it has also created a uh, URL for just this uh, uh, group. And if I copy that URL and put it right here, you can see that it will just take you, you know, back here. Uh, and, and if you, if you have not logged in, it will require you to log in in order to manage the, the group. Okay, but the most useful thing is the group email address. All right.